Hi, this is Michelle Kasky, and today I'm going to be making a video that is a little bit different than the videos that I normally make. I'm actually going to talk to you today about one of my hobbies that I have had since I was a little girl, and this has to do with genealogy research. I think I was inspired by uh, an older family member who was also interested in genealogy. And we have family reunions where we um, get together with people that we only see about once a year. And he would always talk about these um, discoveries that he had made about uh, our family. So ever since then, I also became very interested in genealogy. And I remember being a little girl and I would ask my grandparents and even my great grandparents about their lives and I would ask them questions about their parents and their grandparents and to give me information about whatever they could remember about the family. And that's kind of how it all started. Then when I was in my teens and my early 20s, I discovered researching family history in libraries. So I would go to various libraries and I would look up census information and um, birth, marriage, and death records, and um, like county histories, and uh, burial records, and all those different types of things, and um, found out a ton of information about my family. And then I got married, and we had kids, and I sort of ran out of time for my hobbies. But um, in the last several years, my boys are teenagers now, and they're becoming more and more independent. And I have a little bit more time to be able to spend on hobbies again. So something I've wanted to do for a long time and just have not wanted to spend the money on it um, is to get a DNA test done. And so I finally decided I have been saving my birthday money and my Christmas money for a while. And I finally decided that I was going to bite the bullet and I was going to do it. So what I did is I purchased a DNA uh, testing kit from MyHeritage.com. Um, this kit was $89, no, $79 plus $12 shipping. So I actually paid $91 for this. Um, but I'm super excited about it. So I'm going to go ahead and open this box up and let you kind of see what's in it so that we can um, go through this journey together. So when you first open up the testing kit, it only partially opens. So let's see what's inside. Let's open the box here like this. And it says, DNA kit activation reminder. Activate your DNA kit before sending back your sample. And it gives you a link for where to do that. Um, and this is awesome because it actually has a code on here that I will get um, activated for myself. So it's not like my DNA information is going to be out there for the whole world to see. So that is very, that's a very good thing. Next, there is instructions for how to do your kit. And it looks pretty straightforward. There are eight steps. So I think I can handle that. And then it says expect the results in four to six weeks. And it comes with an envelope and you're gonna need to do some postage on this one again. So, but this is a pretty small envelope so it shouldn't be too much money to get this one sent. And then this comes with, um, not sure what this is. It looks like a gauze of some sort. And then there are two Omni swipes and two vials. So let me read the instructions and then let's get started. Okay, the first thing is activate your kit online. Do not skip this step. It is necessary to get your results and it tells you where to do that. So I will do that first. So the first thing I do is I bring up a regular browser screen and I type in the URL that they gave me, myheritagedna.com slash setup. 
and that is going to bring up a screen. All I need to do is type in the number, the unique number that my kit has attached to it. And that is in your paperwork and it's also on both of your DNA vials. So type that number in and then hit continue. And that will bring up a screen where it asks you a few more questions. Is this DNA kit for you? It asks if you want to display your real name, which I went ahead and did. Um, obviously, you always have to accept their conditions. And then I wasn't sure what this informed consent agreement was, so I went ahead and read that. Um, it's very thorough. It looked to me like it was going to be fine. Um, I am not an expert in this, though, but it looks like they do attempt to keep your privacy um, with your DNA and everything. So I went ahead and accepted it. Um, and then I hit the activate button. And that was it. I'll let, my kit is now activated and I'm ready to go ahead and collect my DNA sample. Next, it says open the test kit and lay out the unopened swabs and vials on a clean surface. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Got two swabs and the vials. All right, and then next it says remove one of the cheek swabs from its plastic wrapper and use it to scrape the inside of one of your cheeks for 30 to 60 seconds. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and swab my cheek. So I'm gonna try to count, you ready? Just like 36, holy cow, that is, I'm gonna try just a little bit longer because I'm not sure I just got, it's shaped the sides. This is a bumpy side. I might need to make sure that side is getting enough. All right, now it says open one vial and insert the swab halfway into the vial. Push down firmly on the top of the swab stick to eject the swab tip into the vial. Okay, see there's like this tip here that I guess you push down on. So here is one of the vials. Open vial. Insert the swab halfway into the vial. Push down firmly on the swab stick. Hopefully you can see this firmly. Okay, yep. To eject the swab sti stick into the vial and it did. Close the vial cap tightly. All right, so might be a little close. I'm gonna try to back up for the next one. Okay, make sure the vial cap is tightly closed. Place it in the clear plastic bag. All right, so I'm gonna wait a second on that one. Let me go ahead and do my other cheek, but I'm gonna back up just a little bit. All right, so cheek two, opening up the swab. This opens pretty easily. I'm gonna do my left cheek, but I gotta make sure it's nice and spitty because this really dries your cheek out. All right, so make sure I get these things on here. They're bumpy in 30 to 60 seconds. So, and go. on that one so I think I'm gonna be able to get my DNA off that all right so be careful <laughs> all right so I'm gonna open up this vial put it halfway push firmly close the vial tightly all right so the next step says make sure the vial caps are tightly closed place the two vials in the clear plastic bag Close the Ziploc and place the bag in the enclosed envelope. Okay, so here's the biohazard bag. It doesn't say anything about this. There's like a white thing in here. I don't know, maybe that's a desiccant. 
So anyway, it doesn't say to remove that or anything, so I'm just going to keep it in, put my vials in, you can see them in there, close the Ziploc, and then I'm going to put them in this envelope and send them off. So here's the envelope, here's my bag and I'm gonna send them off and see what happens. So again, hopefully this was interesting for you and will help you to have a better idea of what you need to do if you get one of these, do one of these tests. Be careful not to scrape your cheek too hard. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. So anyway, I will um, mail that back and then we'll see what happens after that.